I really can't figure out exactly what these people are thinking because we know that the Trump strategy has been we're going to get as many men to vote for us as possible. We're going to key in on this gender gap. And they've had some success on some level, although we need to see the, the latest polling because um, I suspect Harris coming into the race, you know, changed some of this because I think some men were basically just like, he's too old, I'm not going to vote for him. Um, I don't care what the policies are. But Jesse Waters, like, the, it's just bizarre uh, where they're going with this stuff. And I, I can't tell if he actually believes this or what, but uh, here is um, Jesse Waters. They're losing their, their crap about white dudes for Harris. And uh, here is Jesse Waters trying to explain that voting for a woman if you're a man can literally change your gender, which is also sort of cool in that they are accepting maybe the fluidity of genderness. Yeah. But uh, go ahead. Now, I don't see why any man would vote Democrat. It's not the party of virtue, security. It's not the party of Labor. strength. It's definitely not the party of family. Pause it for one and second. Why now pause it for one second. Why would this be men who are interested in virtue, strength, family, not women? Like, why would you say, I don't know why anybody does it does votes uh, votes for democrats because they're not the party of virtue strength i mean so there's two archetypes male and man and woman i think you've got that Men wrong there's two types of there's two archetypes uh there's people and then there's women according to uh, uh jesse waters go ahead now i don't see why any man would vote democrat it's not the party of virtue, security. It's not the party of strength. It's definitely not the party of family. And what? to be a, a man and then vote for a woman just because she's a woman is either childish, that person has mommy issues, or they're just trying to be accepted by other women. And I pause it, the pause it, pause it. Okay, other... pause it. Well, first off, I don't know if there's anybody who's voting for Kamala Harris just because she's a woman. Yeah, if that made. was the case, you would have seen a lot of Democratic voters uh, defect and vote for Sarah Palin uh, when she was on the ticket with uh, John McCain. But the idea that she's a woman and she's not 81 years old, the idea that she's a woman and uh, she supports a lot of more progressive policies, the idea that she's a woman and she's not Donald Trump are great reasons to vote for her. Uh, but uh, it's in this instance, it's just a guy trying to impress women. Remember, this is the guy who let the air out of his tires of his, uh, of his ultimately his, the, the chattel that he uh, married. Because she's a woman is either childish, that person has mommy issues, or they're just trying to be accepted by other women. And I heard the scientists say the other day that when a man votes for a woman, he actually transitions into a woman. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that's what the science yeah, the says. Science, that yes, science that's what that. the science says that. Now, is he, I don't, he, he's, he's making a joke. Yeah, right? I mean, vague annoyance that the other side, as he sees it, gets to cite science with regards to, say, vaccines or trans care. I'm not sure he understands how science works. I am sure he doesn't. Here is uh, Fox's Tyrus. I guess he has just one name. He's a former professional wrestler. Oh, so of course. So he that's is. what he goes by. Of course he is. <laughs> and he's really upset about the white dudes for Kamala event that took place. Um, Can I just say, I've seen studies about different uh, audiences for sports and their propensity to vote, and uh, wrestling and the fight sports is definitely the lowest. Um, <laughs> vote well, that's why they've got them on here. Uh, they're trying to encourage them to vote. Uh, I just don't know that they're tuning in for this, but it's very uh, odd. But it's, I mean, look, let me just say this too about the uh, white dudes for, uh, for, 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 for Kamala Zoom. I mean, um, the idea of white people gathering together on a call, it, it's, I, it's a little bit cringy to me, but it, it really is more about, I mean, just as an aesthetic issue, but it's really more about like, what are they doing? 
if they're if they're gathering together as a way of saying we have a certain amount of responsibility to attempt to address systemic problems in our society that um, we have a legacy of perpetuating maybe not us as individuals but certainly people who are positioned as we were in the past um, I you know that's much better then let's get together and figure out how we can go burn crosses on people's houses or how we can uh, march down the street and say we will not be replaced or um, how do we keep you know uh, the screeching cackling ladies from uh, gaining any power I mean take a look at any Republican gathering I got news for you that's a white guy a white dude zoom also they, you know I mean they do black people for Trump I mean I look yeah is the identity politics thing like I well think listen, he, uh, listen listen okay, he, yeah. he makes the claim like what if you had uh, black guys for Trump go ahead I did, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so racist i don't I, it's the polite racism cracks me up and the, jesse's supposed to be the embodiment of conservative racist face but it's never i thought it's, it's never the republican polite racist whoever bring up race it's never it's always the same thing white dudes for kamala awesome so now i'll start setting up white dudes for tyrus like it just makes no sense and if, if oh, what, pause it for one second um is he running for something like why it's not i mean it's not an organization it was just a call uh to organize people around a call to just uh, sort of get different constituencies but like fundraise basically that was it yeah <laughs> go ahead black dudes black brothers for trump i'll go back well go we'll back. lose go back okay because he's apparently has not watched a trump speech uh, over the course of the past like eight years so now I'll start setting up white dudes for Tyrus. Like, it just makes no sense. And if, if well, oh, what if we had black dudes, black brothers for Trump? Well, we'd all lose our blackness as soon as we showed up for the meeting. So, I mean, or mm. what if we had. Pause it for one for second. Pause it for one second. Do we have a, um, a photo that maybe we can show here? Oh, these are all the guys who have, um, uh, you know, we're behind Trump in every speech for uh, years. They didn't do black guys for Trump. They just do uh, blacks for Trump. Blacks so. for Trump. And um, it's not like they lost their blackness when they showed up at the, the these things. Um, it was like um, Donald Trump has literally, literally been, um, <laughs> has literally been Shouts sanctioned by the DOJ for... Uh, not renting to black people so um you can be for trump time ago. you can be blacks for trump but i got news for you trump ain't for you but go ahead so this guy is not aware of this but you know it doesn't take a lot to get on the uh, to be a political commentator apparently on fox it, well, oh, what if we had black dudes black brothers for trump well we'd all lose our blackness as soon as we showed up for the meeting so i mean or mm. what if we had white guys for i don't know nazism you know like <laughs> where do you where do you draw the line you know what I'm saying? Like, that exists uh that, Some that very, very, very people, much apparently yeah. <laughs> well, white dudes for nazism is actually been <laughs> largely the point <laughs> and so i'll explain this to him white dudes for nazism bad white dudes for something that's going to help a broad base of people much better much better yeah i mean you know i, I this has been a bit of a topic um and as the, i don't want to elaborate too much on the identity politics of it i do think people should read racecraft by karen and barbara fields um especially liberals who want, need a little bit of uh, a critique of identity politics and some of the limitations but i also think like part of it is it's people being mobilized and the left um being sort of uh, averse to it i just think not like that is a pretty weak posture in politics and it'd be nice if people were turning out for socialist causes and stuff like that but uh in the absence of that uh I, you know you kind of have to take mobilization however it comes hey folks don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show we do it every day at 12 p.m eastern for about two and a half hours we even take phone calls you should check that out.